After that Alaska Airlines midair scare over Portland, Oregon, this morning thousands of people are dealing with the aftermath of dozens of flight cancellations. Safety first, I get it. I totally understand why Alaska's doing it. Meanwhile, federal investigators are now on the ground in Portland, trying to figure out why a section of this plane's fuselage detached in the sky Friday with almost 180 people on board. The NTSB says the chaotic scene unfolded just 10 minutes after takeoff at around 16,000 feet, roughly half of cruising altitude. Think about what happens when you're in cruise. Everybody's up and walking. Folks don't have seatbelts on. We could have end up with, ended up with something so much more tragic. There were no reports of serious injuries. And although no one was sitting directly next to the missing panel, one passenger says a boy sitting nearby lost his shirt. And the son's shirt was like completely blown off and his body was extremely red. I'm assuming due to like irritation of the wind. The FAA temporarily grounding certain aircraft for inspection, impacting Alaska and United Airlines. Former NTSB and FAA official Jeff Gazzetti says the plane, only months old, was modified, requiring fewer emergency exits because it had fewer passenger seats. That missing section was a covered door. That happened really at, at a lower altitude than I would expect, which kind of tells me that that door was... Uh, was really not doing its job in keeping the pressure inside of the fuselage. The NTSB promising a full investigation. We'll look at the pressurization system. We'll look at the, uh, the door. We're going to want to look at the hinges. The agency also saying early signs do not point to a widespread flaw in the Boeing MAX aircraft. Do we suspect that there is an overall design problem with this plane based on previous accidents involving the Boeing uh, MAX. At this time, no. The plane in question is a Boeing 737 MAX 9. That is different from the Boeing 737 MAX 8, which was the model of the airplane that had been temporarily grounded across much of the world after two separate crashes within months killed a combined nearly 350 people. One expert I spoke with saying that the issues from those issues, the, the issues from those incidents, Willie, really, compared to the issues we just saw with Alaska Airlines are separate failures. Willie. Incredible. When you look at those pictures, no one was hurt there. Thank goodness for that. Jesse Kirsch, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.